Sex. It's everywhere. Some teens are doing it. Some teens aren't. Most are just getting a taste. At least that's what Statistics Canada says. They say that fewer teens are having sex today than they were 10 years ago. But they are doing other things. They call it hooking up. But you'll find more about that later. Yeah, my sister has a crush on you. Weird. So this is what we did. We took our cameras to Glebe Collegiate and had teen correspondent Mason Beveridge find out what his friends are really saying about sex. I'm Mason, I'm 18, and I'm finding out what my friends think about sex. I'm Graham. I'm Willie. Uh, my name's Julian. I'm Maya. I'm Claire. Athena. Helena. Who's kissed somebody before? Okay, so that's everybody. Um, who here has hooked up more than kissed? <laughs> All right, who here has had sex before? The reason most of my friends probably haven't had sex uh, at this point, um, I'd say probably because they're not ready, I guess. If they're like, haven't had a, a steady relationship or aren't really comfortable um, with somebody that they would have sex with, they probably wouldn't do it yet. Is there pressure to have sex? No. I don't, I don't feel any pressure, no. Yeah. I'm... Maybe some might. I see how some might, but I don't think. Like, maybe pressure to, like, have sex before you go to university, but, like, not to have sex in, like, a certain relationship. How much do you think it'll affect you in university or college? It depends. I think if you haven't done it by the time you get to university, then you'll be thinking about, like, okay, is it going to be really awkward when I do it with like a university guy who might be really experienced? So you'll, like, it'll be on your mind, you'll be nervous about it. How much does sex affect your guys' lives right now? I think once you've had sex, it doesn't affect your life that much because it's just sex and it's not that big a deal. Hold on, not a big deal? Tell that to these guys. Is that what you call sperm? No, sperm is something else. Sperm is made in the testes too. Do you all know what sperm is? Yeah, it's the guy's part of the baby, isn't it? That's right. But how does it get out from the testicles? Through tubes, here. Things sure have changed. They may not say there's pressure to have sex, but Mason's health teacher begs to differ. You know, they only look at direct pressure. They don't look at indirect pressure. So no, you know what? There's no one in my face telling me I have to have sex. Yeah, you have to have sex. Yeah, you have to have sex. But there, you know, our media is just flooded with sexual images. Right now, so walk me through the lecture signs that we had you do the icebreaker. Well, I realized two things. First of all, that it was ridiculous how many people I've been with. So, teens may not be having as much sex as they used to, but like Dilabas said, there's still pressure to do something. Have you ever had sex with three people? <laughs> I was young once. <laughs> so let's spell this out. Here's a quick lesson for those who aren't schooled in teen sex. Uh, hooking up, like, among my group of friends, uh, like, a lot of the time, what we say hooking up is, uh, is pretty much just, like, at parties and stuff, people making out. Um, sometimes it leads to more just, like, heavy making out or, uh, like, feeling, fondling, whatever. Um, and in some cases it leads to more, but, uh, for the most part, just making it. Hookups usually stay on the weekend. Sounds awkward. Yeah, it is pretty awkward. I don't know. That's high school, yeah. <laughs> hey, how would you and Barbara like to go swimming tomorrow? We'd love to. Jim and I thought we'd go to the lagoon. Yeah, that's well. <laughs> so, with hooking up, there's no commitment necessary. 
but with yeah, sex, sex right? now that's something different. I think it would like it means something for sure. Yeah. It wouldn't, but like uh, I don't know if I'd make the hugest deal about it and, and like make it into something that kind of is like all that I think about. But I mean, yeah, I I'd, I'd probably yeah I buy into the idea that it is it is bigger than just the actual act. It's kind of it means something more. So yeah, if you're in a relationship, that's probably the time to do it, in my opinion. What do you think, girls? Have sex on like the first time they met a guy, like they would. I like I and I know like most of my friends that you would have to be in a relationship to do that. Like it's not as like just done loosely. Like it means something. I yeah. For the twenty fifth hour, I'm Dan Robson.